Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. It's 24 projects coming out to you, two a week all the way through and into, de into December and we're in the last two, we're at number 23 today. This is the project we're going to make, but it's modelled on this one. Now, as you know, I have four sons, Jack, Luke, Jacob and Oliver. And Oliver, at six and a half, recently went to a museum of vintage toys and they were invited to make their own toy. So I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, though. This is a clown face on a stick and it's a pop up toy and it's coming off its slider. Now it's, um, let me get that popped back on. This is what happens when a six year old uses sticky tape sticky fingers as well so when it pops up and down like that and he was so delighted with that and he knows that sometimes I model my projects on things that he and his brothers have made and he said mummy 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 can you make something like that and so I said yes I can so I came up with this and it is the same principle it's a pop-up but it's pop-up father Christmas on a candy cane and he has shown everybody this hence why we now got a blob of blue ink on it but it's very cute and it's the shape and he taught me everything mummy this is how you make the shape of it and this is how you close it um also hence the blue ink i'm going to make it with just one decoration on the front because i love this paper i'm getting very short on it and it's just gorgeous so i'm just going to do one and to make this size one i started with a piece of piece of paper i can't speak that's six by six inches and you need to round the corner or round one side from edge to edge. I don't know if there's any official science to it. There might well be. He didn't tell me that. He just said, you need to round it, mummy. So I'm just going to grab a pen and roughly sketch kind of where I want to go. And then cut on the inside of it. And this will give you roughly the shape. I would suggest probably not doing an actual sketch on the one that you're going to make but it's going to give you a rough look and it's when you close it up that's why it's that shape because if it was if I hadn't done that I did I'd have ended up with a point which to be fair actually I kind of like the point but no he didn't want me to do one with a point he wanted me to do the same as him so it's up to you if you want to make one like that you would make a cone and it will look like that. Actually, I quite like that. Let's reject that. We've done his one. Let's make my one. I kind of like that. Actually, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, and that's how you do it. But obviously, you need an opening at the bottom. So before I start sticking it and gluing, you need to make sure that it will go in, that you can get your candy cane in there. Okay. Shall I make this a bit smaller? I'm going to make this five by five inches. Look at this. This is like doing Facebook Live, isn't it? I've got my trimmer off to one side, so let's make it a bit smaller. <laughs> so I want to be able to get the candy cane out. That's better. Right. I would suggest giving it a good roll before you start sticking it down because they like to pop undone because we've got very good quality paper so they like to pop undone um i need to make sure that will go through so it's going to slide in and out quite easily and i'm all about the stapler and yeah that slides in and out nicely I'm going to grab my glue dots because you could put adhesive under there. You could put fast fuse or something like that. But I like mini glue dots because I can be very accurate in exactly where I want to position it. And seriously, mini glue dots, so strong. There we go. So, as you can see, I've got cookie cutter Christmas and I've got all my shapes up there. As I said, oh, look, I've done it upside down. <laughs> I've done it upside down. We've got upside down stockings and hats. <laughs> oh, it hurts, doesn't it? 
that would be my one. <laughs> oh dear. Let's just bring Father Christmas out to play. Okay, let's go say with that one. Seriously, it does hurt, doesn't it? My poor little brain. Okay, we need two of Father Christmas. And if I grab the cookie cutter punch, why can't I see it? Oh, it's because it's put all the stuff over the top. There's stuff either side of the actual shape, so you can't just stick two Father Christmases close together because if you did that, you'd lose an arm or something off one of them by the fact that you cut out eyes and bows. So I'll demonstrate with this one. So let me just show you what I'm, I'm talking about. So if I put another Father Christmas there, he's obviously quite pale because I'm rejecting him. Um, I would have lost a bit of his arm. So you need to make an allowance for the fact that the cookie cutter punch is more than just the shape of the actual character. Okay. Get rid of all of those and bring in my many marvellous markers. I'm going to bring out real red, pink pirouette and basic black to colour up my Father Christmas and I'm going to do two of him because, you know, your candy cane might twist around. So super quick across here. And this is a great little project for um, your friend who's coming to visit and she's bringing her children and you thought it was just her that was coming over for drinks and nibbles. But no, all of the children are coming. So you need to make a little something or for, um, for Christmas carolers. We don't really... Well, when I lived in Wales, we didn't particularly have carolers come to visit, but I don't know, maybe here in Cambridgeshire I might get carolers. I don't know, I need to start ask my neighbours. Um, just colour all of him in. Father Christmas is so cute. I'm hoping we get Christmas carolers. I'm... Looking around, so the town I live in is a town called Whittlesea in Cambridgeshire, and it's an old, old market town. Although the market is, you know, probably a loose term. Um, there's flowers on the market and that's kind of it. But there seems to be an awful lot of stuff going on. It's quite a community town. So I'm hoping that we might get carolers. That would be really good. I'd be very happy. Okay, black mittens. Oh. Small child at the bottom. Let's reject that and grab another. I need to get that one in before I add it back to my stuff. Black belt. And boots. Maybe I need to bring in some gold for his belt. Hmm. The first time I coloured in the Father Christmas, I actually had to <laughs> go to a reference book. So I'm thinking, am I doing this wrong? Is he meant to have red gloves? Is he meant to have brown boots, black boots? And then I decided that, you know, let's chuck the rule book out the window and do what I fancy. Okay, a little tiny little dab of pink pirouette. He's maybe been, you know, on the sherry a little bit. Do you leave sherry out for Father Christmas? We do, sherry and a mince pie. And then, where's my candy cane? Oh, I need to stick him to one side and the other. So, fast fuse all the way down the head and the legs of one and just the legs of the other. Because I'm gonna marry up the top of this and then put the legs either side of the top of the candy cane and that slips in there for a nice little pop-up candy cane pouch. Thank you Oliver for your idea. I was getting short on ideas when I made this so like 
because they look blue ink and all sorts on this. And obviously I've put extras on. I kind of like mine actually, but obviously I was true to him. This was his original. I need to get that glue stuck on that stick a bit better. He was chuffed to bits with it. Absolutely thrilled, showed everybody. He did a good job. Bring back the old toys, I say. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Father Christmas and I hope to see you very soon. Bye.